Hello everybody and welcome back to another figure review. Today we're going to take a quick look at our X-Men Marvel's Angel. I know a lot of reviewers already got theirs. Mine just arrived yesterday as of recording this. Um, but yeah, here he is. He's rotating. We have that standard, you know, kind of window to Marvel Legend Deluxe packaging, which is now going to change. And a lot of people are upset again about packaging changing. I don't care at this point. Just give me the figures. I'm going to throw this away anyway. Um, but there's a read up on Angel himself. There's some nice sort of art here on the back. You have a nice X-Men logo there at the top and then not much else and the X-Men logo there and then the same art on both sides and I'm going to surgically cut this. <clears throat> As such, and then you do have a tray on top or it's a two tray system you have the wings and then him let me get everything out and then we'll take a closer look at angel and his wings in the packaging you also get this nice cardboard piece with a lot of sort of comic panels and marvel legends um throughout so it's a nice sort of backdrop piece if you guys ever want to use that um you can see there you can pose your figures in front of this or using this up to you so here we have him out of the packaging and he does come with accessories he comes with two additional hands uh, more wide open hands and i just dropped it um but yeah very basic simple um i believe these are the same as vulcans um because he is on the vulcan body mold and these are just the alternate hands for vulcan um so nothing too new or too crazy there and he does come with an alternate head where he is sort of smiling um, rather than the serious one. One thing I did notice, his sort of mask um, extends downward here onto the nose and that is sculpted on there. And I'm not sure why they did that since the other one, the sort of, you know, headgear just reaches his forehead there so it's a bit odd that they extended it over here um so i don't know if there's some sort of design in the comics that this is referencing and everything is falling apart good job uh, um yeah he is a little hard to stand he is he can be a little back heavy and the ankles are very stiff so i can't really get them all flat um but there's the alternate head there you can see where the sort of skin tone i guess um paints over the edge there as you can see there um but that's the smiling head with some nice blue eyes some nice eyebrows and yeah the hair basic blonde <clears throat> compared to this one here's a very stern serious look and you can see where the skin tone isn't bleeding onto, you know, the mask as much, just on this area here. But you can see on this side, it's not really bleeding onto it a lot too much, other than this other section here. So yeah, um, they'll get better, I assume, <laughs> when applying skin tone, and so it doesn't bleed onto the other sculpt. Um, but yeah, this one turned out pretty okay. Um... But yeah, other than that, the main focus of this guy will be the wings, and I'll get into those as soon as I can. This is the Vulcan body mold, so I don't think I'm gonna uh, go too crazy um, with the articulation. Just know that mine um, did get a little bit of paint scuff, you know, kicking forward is, was a little hard, and it still is kind of. Um, some joints are really hard, so like I said, the ankles, pretty rough uh, it makes it kind of harder to you know pose when he's just standing on the ground um his head is on a disc hinge joint 
um, so you can look down pretty well up and you get some slight pivoting and of course you can look side to side the rest is the same as Vulcan and Vision who I also reviewed so there's that but the wings here have tons of detail and yeah like I said this is the main focus and they do just plug in into the two holes on his back but the wings just have this obviously feathers but there's just crazy tons of detail in the feathers um there's no really there's a little bit of a two-tone brighter white here and much darker sort of grayish no, I don't even think that's gray that's some other color um but some nice detailing all around and yeah he does have a wide wingspan um, but you can see that it's also done in the inside, the white, and then the not as white feathers there. So yeah, all in all, some great details with the feathers here. Um, in terms of wingspan, um, it's not going to fit into frame, but you can see that one wing goes about that much. And yeah, these are on the like sort of disc hinges, so they just rotate. There's no ball joint, so you can go front and side. The only hinge where you can do that would be the one here on his back, and that one can also rotate and whatnot. But yeah, this is your hinge and rotation. So you simply just go in and out as such. But if you want more natural looking wings, then I'd say about right there where everything's still connected uh sort of connected with each other and same applies for this side right around there and you get an impressive wingspan there you go and there goes the background um but yeah there it goes that's as wide as you can get or you know you can just experiment with it however you want you can go all the way up but you know naturally i would put it like this so that looks very cool um so putting him farther away because i think this is pretty much the end of the review now um yeah I, a very nice addition to the x-men crew i do love my x-men members so once i saw angel it was a must-have and well i'm happy to have him here he looks amazing that red and white suit and those wings are amazing and they're gonna take up a lot of space so i have to figure out where to place this guy in the collection so that does it for my review i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was enough to show off this figure um but i do have other things <laughs> to do and review um but with that being said did you guys pick up angel here or did you guys skip on them um let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you.